You've produced over 40 short films? Yeah, yeah. And that's starting from age 15 until uh, sometime like uh, late in my 20s. Um, yeah, most of them, um, uh, I, I kind of I kind of had a, a a plan like I said before I started out with like little five minute shorts and then sort of built to uh, like a 10 minute short and then to a 20 minute and then 40 minutes and then you know eventually uh, my first feature film um, and um, yeah a lot of those were mostly um, for myself like uh, some I'd released but most of them um, I just wanted to focus on particular aspects of filmmaking. So, for instance, um, um, with one, might just focus on composition, you know, like um, another might be just lighting, um, another might be sound, another might be movement or uh, being able to um, frame action uh, a particular way. Um, yeah, and so, like, um, yeah, I, I always sort of approached every aspect of filmmaking from a, a separately. Like, um, I'm, I'm going to give you guys a tip. I'm, I'm going to give you a, a really important uh, piece of information like um, one of my mentors gave me. And it was a way to sort of, like in the beginning when you're trying to train your eye, as far as uh, cinematography, um, this was a, a tip I got that sort of took my uh my my uh cinematography from here to here like overnight so um so what you do is you get uh, a binder like a five ring binder or something like that um you go online you search google um you look for movies that are like a hundred million dollars or more like in terms of budget right um you find uh close-ups you find two shots, you find masters, you find all these different uh, frames, like stills, still frames from all these films. The reason you choose $100 million films is because they can afford like the top cinematographers in the world, right? So you, you section off your uh, binder, let's say you want close-ups. So in this section, you put maybe five examples of close-ups. Uh, another section, you put uh, another five examples of a uh, two shot or whatever, over the shoulder, whatever. And you, uh, you fill it up with those different frames and different sections. And so um, from there, let's say um, you're a cinematographer, you kind of knew it, you're just starting out, um, and you may not really know how to frame subjects that great just yet. So what you do is every time you shoot, um, you set up your tripod, you set up your camera, um, you adjust your frame the way you think it should be, the way you think uh, it should look. Let's say you have two people having a conversation, whatever the case is. Um, and you want to do uh, an over-the-shoulder shot. You adjust that frame to where you think it should look, right? Then you take out your binder and you go to over-the-shoulder shots, and then you hold that binder up you, next to your, your frame, and then you begin to adjust your frame based on the composition you see in those frames. And so as you do that, it's going to slowly begin to train your eye to have a more cinematic composition, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, that's just a little tip right there, you know what I'm saying?